Hey, welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I want to share with you the redox reaction between bismuth metal and nitric acid. Check this out. For this investigation, I'm using 15 molar nitric acid. I'm using small pieces of bismuth. You can see the beautiful oxidation. I'm using a couple of flasks, a beaker. This is a funnel and some filter paper. And these graduated cylinders over here to collect some nitrogen dioxide that I'm gonna to use to illustrate Le Chatelier's equilibrium principle in a future video. The first thing I wanna do is measure out about 20 grams of bismuth. And that's pretty close, 19.86. Bismuth will dissolve in nitric acid at about a one to three ratio. So I'm gonna need about 60 mils of nitric acid to dissolve 20 grams of bismuth. The next step is to add my two pieces of bismuth. And then I'm gonna raise this up to 60 mils of nitric acid. So since this does release nitrogen dioxide, I will be using my fume hood for portions of this video. And I'll start that up right now. Definitely see some nitrogen dioxide gas forming. So what you're observing now is a redox reaction where the bismuth is dissolving in the nitric acid and it's becoming bismuth 3 nitrate. Now if you notice that your reaction is slowing down, you can also use a little bit of heat to increase the rate of the reaction. I'm using my magnetic heat plate here just to uh, increase the rate of that reaction. Okay, after the bismuth is dissolved in the nitric acid, you're ready to start filtering it into your separate beaker. Already you can start seeing some bismuth 3 nitrate crystals starting to precipitate out of the solution. Once your filtration is done, you can use vacuum filtration or you can just decant the extra water off the top. And then I'm gonna put my crystals into my desiccator just to dry them out. Okay, so to get my bismuth 3 nitrate crystals nice and dry, I added some fresh desiccant to my desiccator. And I'm going to put this dish in here and just let it dry for a few days. I'll see what it looks like. Okay, it's been a couple days. Let's check out our bismuth 3 nitrate. It's been in the desiccator and I think it's all dried out. And um, I wanted to show this to you because bismuth 3 nitrate is used in the pharmaceutical industry. It's kind of a white crystal solid color and it's used for post-cancer treatments to protect your kidneys during cancer treatments, to protect your bone marrow. It's used in gastrointestinal diseases. Just an interesting compound that's relatively easy to synthesize. Okay, let's talk about what's going on in this reaction. We started with bismuth and nitric acid. Bismuth is Bi and nitric acid is HNO3. And when those combine, the bismuth starts to dissolve in the nitric acid and it creates bismuth 3 nitrate. Bismuth 3 nitrate is the Bi, that's at a positive three. And the nitrate ion, NO3, is at a negative one. And you have three of those nitrate ions. And then that also creates that brown gas that you see, that's nitrogen dioxide, that's the NO2. And and water, H2O. This reaction is also an example of a redox reaction, a reduction oxidation. That just means that in the reaction, you have the transfer of electrons. So when something's oxidized, it's losing electrons. And so its oxidation number goes up. And when something's reduced, it's gaining those electrons. So its oxidation state goes down, it's being reduced. And so in this case, the bismuth metal starts at an oxidation state of zero. But as it loses three electrons, then its oxidation state goes up to a plus three. Then the nitrate ion, gains those electrons and that reduces it from having oxidation state of five down to two. I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this presentation, be sure to remember to like and subscribe.